Hey everyone, my name is Ruben and we are here. This is going to be week nine, I believe, of our UBL matches. And we are up against Nightorm. I've met him a little bit uh, on Kyle A stream while Kyle's playing Fortnite, but I've never gotten a chance to battle him. He has an incredibly scary team. Of course, Mega Beedrill is really, really close to my heart. That was the first Mega I've ever drafted. And in general, his team is so, so scary. I love the Azelf. Azelf is one of my favorites. Tangrowth, of course, is going to be a huge, huge problem. Azumarill could do huge things. Landorus is scary, Kiram is scary, his entire team is scary, but then, and even then, he didn't bring the Darmanitan, Pangoro, Agron. I was so, so scared of Agron. It could have done so, so much to me. So I'm just going to get into it. I do believe that I let off with the Delphox. My Delphox is holding a Shuckaberry. Uh, it's really fun because not only did I feel pretty protected by whatever he wanted to go for, um, I obviously had a f fear a drill run on the Mega Beedrill, I had a fear Landorus, and I kind of did expect a Landorus lead, which was my main reason for this, I guess, but also um, Kiram Earth Power, I knew that that was a, a thing that he could have brought, but also Shockaberry with Magician is so, so uh, fun to play with, but here he goes straight into the Kiram, not even risking Scarf Delphox, which I almost did bring, I was very, very close to bringing it, as a matter of fact. But I ended up not bringing it. I go for the Will O Wisp. I kind of honestly expected him to U turn into Laners. That was my honest to God expectation. That's why I went for the Will O Wisp. But pretty much here, Will O Wisp is not going to do too, too much to this Kiram. And the Shaka does, in fact, protect me against this incoming Earth Power. And I'm going to get off a Dazzling Gleam. And it does just about half. I did calc it. I knew exactly what it was going to do. I was fine with it. But I do get to Magician away his Scarf. So I do end up getting. Scarfed uh, Delphox here and Scarf and De and I made my Delphox fast enough where the Scarf is actually going to do some work. That's why I switch out here and I go into Micro Ninja. Now, okay, here's a pretty huge moment. Okay, so I was calcing out what a oh, so I kind of did expect him to switch out as well, but he did stay in. So now that we're here in this situation, I was trying to calc out uh, what an ice beam like 100% like take him out, and I was adjusting my DS in this situation. And my finger hit the A button on Surf, and it was 100% a misclick. There was no, no reason to give up my Greninja. I was either going to go with Low Kick, which 100%, it did about 70% minimum, or Ice Beam, which did about 50% minimum, I believe. And I 100% would have taken this thing out if I just um, clicked the move that I wanted to go for. But like I said, I was adjusting my DS just to be 100% sure that Ice Beam would have done it from that range. And... Uh, that's pretty much what happened. My finger hit the A button, and I click Surf, and my... My Greninja ends up going down for no reason. Now, here's the situation. Here's the situation that I expected, uh, turn one. But now I'm Scarfed, and this Landorus is in here without my Shuckleberry. But I, I felt like it was worth going for. I just went for the HP Ice, and he reveals Yachi Berry, which really, really does suck. And I didn't, e and I didn't even take it. I kind of expected it to take it, so I guess it was more uh, offensive than I did expect, in all honesty. But my thinking here was that um, even if I did go out, I did still have like Water Shuriken plays. I don't know. The Yachi Berry play is a bit questionable because it do have the Greninja with just straight up Surf plays or Water Shuriken plays. I don't know. I don't know. In any case, I go out into this thing. I did calc it out and see that a Body Slam should have done about 50%, but he switches out into this and we do see that it does a third at the Tangrowth, which is um, important to note for later, uh, just in general. I, I, I had that in the back of my head. Um, Hardcore just for later, and I go into my Latias. He goes for the knockoff. No uh, item being knocked off. I am pretty obviously Z move, but either way, I take this opportunity to go for the Dragon Dance. And right now, I outspeed his team, no doubt. His Scarfer is uh, down, and um, Mega Beedrill is the fastest thing that I now outspeed. And I go for the Ice Beam in the situation. I could pick up the first KO, and I'm in a pretty decent position here to just kind of. Um, do whatever I need to do. Um, hopefully, you know, uh, the tank growth can be a problem, of course, but you can see that I can take hits from it a little bit, and this Azelf comes in. I don't do enough with the Dragon Claw straight up at neutral, at plus one. I could have done a little bit of something, but it looked like it was pretty much going to be a guaranteed KO with Z Dragon Claw, so I just kind of go for it in this situation. 
Um, it was super risky, like I knew he obviously had to have a reason for bringing the A's up in the situation. Part of me thought that it could have been Scarfed, I didn't know, but it is in fact Focus Sash. Uh, part of me thought that he thought that he could take a Dragon Claw, which he could if I didn't have the Devastating Drake, but I just ended up going for the Devastating Drake and he had the Focus Ash Dazzling Gleam combo, which kind of just messed me up. Now, I come in with my Primarina. Now, my Primarina is Scarfed to outspeed everything except the Beedrill. And the Beedrill, I don't have a matchup against anyway, so I felt like I could reasonably Scarf this thing and have it do work against his entire team. And, of course, the Beedrill's gonna come in. It's gonna scare me out. I totally expected this, you know, uh, series of events to happen. It was pretty much fine, but, uh... I do end up able to take out the Azelf, which is on itself huge. I would have had to have gone into this um, Serena, which, I don't know, maybe would have been the, the better play. I guess it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. In any case, I super duper know he's going to take me out. It's totally fine. I really don't mind. Just goes for the poison jab. And I believe I'm just going to go into the Tauros here. All I really needed from this interaction, even just to give up my Serena, was to get myself the freest of switch-ins into Tauros. Now, my Tauros is Scarfed. And uh, with 116 speed EVs, it hits 145 without the Scarf, and then after the Scarf, it hits 217.5, which guaranteed outspeeds it, because it, it only hits 216. Now, I do just go for the Body Slam on this switch in, so I guess he would have had to have given up his Beedrill or switch into the Azumarill, but the Azumarill takes half, which is perfect because it prevents any type of... Um, Belly drumming, any Z belly drumming, a Z belly drum in the situation would have been absolutely terrible for me, but I do get off the belly drum, or I do prevent the belly drum, I'm sorry, and uh, I take it out in a two hit. It does aqua jet me, but that damage doesn't really matter in the screen scheme of things, even a little bit. And now this thing comes in, I just switch into this pre marina because my best chance is to whittle it down with, um, with Moonblast, and I know, I know that it has, um, the knockoff, and the last thing, the absolute last thing that I can let happen was to let my scarf on the Tauros get knocked off because that would legitimately, that would legitimately lose me my win condition. And we do get the special attack drop on the first Moonblast, which is actually kind of kind of huge. It does end up uh, allowing me to take these Giga Drains reasonably, you know, better. But either way, Moonblast just does so much damage, even to a Tangrowth. It just does so much heckin' damage. And it just puts me in the finest of positions because, again, we know from early in the match that my body slam from the Tauros is doing about a third to this Tangrowth. So all we really needed to do is keep it at about that level. And it is well, well within range for a body slam to come in and take it out. And all we have to do, again, like I said, we are scarfed. We did all the math that we had to do to take out this Beedra, and we are in here, and a Body Slam, Sheer Force Body Slam, 100% of the time takes out this Beedrill, and it's in this moment where we find out that I'm not, the speed's not where I need to be, and I went back and looked at it, I did give my Tauros 116 speed EVs, I am Scarfed, but I did not gen my Tauros to have perfect IVs. Uh, I believe what I, what happened what happened I believe was that I took a template that had zero speed IVs because I believe I was genning a Ferrothorn for a previous team and when I made this Tauros it ended up having zero speed IVs it had all the EVs that it needed but it had zero speed IVs which dropped the speed a considerable amount and below the level where it needed to be to outspeed a Mega Beedrill and that's how we lose and all honesty I'm pretty upset it's pretty much the dumbest way to lose a match in my opinion just a straight up misgen where i missed out on a few speed points and uh it cost me being able to outspeed Beedrill. a sheer force body slam adamant max attack does a minimum about 120 percent i believe and if you want to say something like well it probably wasn't max speed so we could have invested those extra evs into hp a max hp Beedrill takes a minimum 101 percent so it was never a roll i had the win i did everything that i could possible to win this match and i didn't win this match but I do know some results from other matches, and we're still more or less in charge of our own destinies here.
I want to say that next week we take on Trexus, and we are basically going to be battling for that third seed along with Silver Beanie. It's going to be pretty much on us to win that one and pretty much win out that we can make playoffs. But like I said, we're, we pretty much are controlling our own destinies at this point. And with that, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. We'll be back again with more PGL matches and more UBL matches. We're going to bounce back. Hopefully we can do what we need to do. But once again, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. I'll be once again out.